Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my camera is rigged in this super weird way because my tripod broke and yeah, it should be real interesting. <laughs> so this is my Vintage Chic Sense haul. This is probably, I have to say this might be my biggest order to date. I don't really know what happened. I had a list and then from there it just went all downhill. I, I don't really know what happened. I will say though that I'm usually not the, the person that places a bunch of different orders. I usually place one or two at the most, but this time I placed more than two. I'll just say that. <laughs> I'll just say I placed more than two. One of them is, one of the orders is somebody's fault. <laughs> so I can blame it on that. But usually what I do is I make a main list, like the things that I absolutely want, like that I really, really want. I'll make a list of like five or six things and I'll just go in and get those things. And once I have those things, I'll check out and then I'll go to my secondary list, which is the things that if I get, okay, awesome. But if I don't get, I'm not going to like, you know, not that I would if I missed anything on my first list. But they're just more of the things that like I want to try, but they're not like my want to really have type of things, like my top list. So, and then I went back in. There were so many good, like, there were just, she always, I say this every month. Like every month, she always has good blends. By the way, if this video cuts out for any reason, I will just start a second part, part two, whatever. I don't know how long this is going to go. But let's just jump in. I'll just start with a loaf here. So she had these really pretty springtime loaves. So this one is in Aunt Lori's Famous Rolls Embeds Lori and Joe Forever Overpour, which is... Fresh baked bread with strawberry jam, warm popovers topped with blueberry jam. This was one of the things I got in my last order. I just added it on to make shipping like worthwhile, but I actually went in for something else completely different. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, that smells really nice. The bread scent on that. You can smell like a slight strawberry, the slight, the blueberry is not overpowering, which I was a little bit afraid of. Let's see. Yeah, the blueberry jam, not at all. It smells very, like, a little bit bready, a little bit sweet. This one's really nice. Let's see. What are we going to do with these? Are we just going to set you back there? I don't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. This one, I don't feel the need to take out of the bag. I'm not going to take them all out of the bag. Cookie Monster and Five Families. So this is, I wrote down Cookie Monster a few times, and then I was like, screw it. <laughs> you guys all know what Cookie Monster is. So it's sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, what the hell is SM? Oh man. Oh, sugar milk, <laughs> whipped cream, birthday cake, and then I think Five Families is vanilla wafers and cannoli. So. This just mostly smells like Cookie Monster to me. I think I smell like a cream cheese maybe of like the cannolis. Isn't that what a cannoli is? I'm trying to think. Is it cream cheese like filling inside like a pastry type thing? I can't remember. I'll put that one over there since that one's not as pretty. Okay, then she offered a, I think this is a unicorn loaf. This is Princess of Monaco. This is lemon curd marshmallow. And I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> this one I had been in search of for a while even though it's a pretty regular blend for her. But I figured while it was there, I might as well grab one. And it is. It's just a really nice lemon curd with that marshmallow. I really like her marshmallow scent. So that's number two. Then I got, I really wanted this. I really love the Day Tripper scent. So I got the Cannoli Embeds Day Tripper Over Pork, which is, it's, let's see, cannoli, marshmallow, jelly-filled zucchini donut. Marshmallow birthday cake and vanilla bean oil. I think that's what it is. Hell. This one I'll take out because it's another springtime loaf, which is super cute. So, that, oh, I can smell that already. The reason I like this one so much is it reminds me a lot of Purple Haze. And it pretty much is Purple Haze minus the... What is it missing? Mm, I can't remember. I don't know, it's pretty close though. Purple Haze, I'm trying to remember what else is in there. 
Oh, that just smells so good. You mostly get the day tripper. Usually with the overpours, like when I'm looking at the loaves on the site for like what I want to order, I usually look at what the overpour is as like the deciding factor for me. This is the one that I went back in for for my last order. This is Grandma Mac and Lancelot and Guinevere. Somebody talked me into this one. I won't mention any names, but you know who you are. <laughs> it's juicy blackberries and vanilla lace type. I thought it was juicy blueberries and vanilla lace type, which I was not interested in. But blackberries, I totally love, so. I'm not gonna take this one out either because this one's pretty plain looking. I love vanilla lace. Like, I, it's a new love for me. Mixed with that blackberry, it just smells really, really good. I know that's like vague, right? <laughs> it just smells really, really good. But you really get the vanilla lace and it's toned down that blackberry scent. So you just get like a nice little hint of it. Okay, the next one I got, I actually accidentally grabbed two of these on accident. I was hurrying to try to add things and I accidentally hit two. So this is Carousel Embeds Surrey Dreamin' Overpour. And, oh shoot, this is the one that I have the Okay, so here's the one that I have the, the actual scent description on. But So these are the bunnies. And this is uh, cotton candy frosting, vanilla waffle cone, marshmallow, and mango sorbet. So we'll set that one over here. I'll pull this one out. I've really been getting into mango sorbet. I like it as a scent mixed with like sweet things. This one does smell really good. I like that you do smell that cotton candy frosting and the mango sorbet, like, well actually just, I smell mango to me. It's mostly just like a mango scent, fruity. But it's a different kind of fruity. I really like this. Not gonna lie, kinda glad I have two. Okay, so the next one I have is Hitchhawk Presents Embeds Cookie Monster Overpour. And this is rich zucchini bread topped with blueberries and cream and monster cookies. So let's see which one's the overpour. Yeah, the Cookie Monster Overpour. So I figured you really couldn't go wrong with that. Like I said, the overpour is kind of the deciding factor for me as far as like, look at how pretty that one is. I love that. This one, you can actually smell that blueberries and cream and the zucchini bread. That one's really good mixed with the Cookie Monster. Oh, I love that. This is probably one of my favorites. And I was really worried about that blueberries and cream. That one's really, really nice. Actually, all of these are, I mean, I, I don't have one that I don't like yet. The next one I got is Parlor Magic Embeds, Nilla Marshmallow Man Overpour. I'm kind of iffy on the Marshmallow Man scent. I'm not 100% sure if I love Marshmallow Man yet. I have it in a, another form. I think I have just like straight Marshmallow Man. And I can't tell if I like it or not. Oops, I hit the camera. That's always nice. So this is Berry Cream, Berry Creme Brulee, Zucchini Bread Donut, Gooey Marshmallow Vanilla Wafers. Parlor Magic has always been like one of those things I wanted to try. And I just never got around to it. And I was like, why not try it in <laughs> in this? And I really like this scent as well. Super pretty. She just like, glitter. I'm going to have a hard time cutting these things up. Oh, this is just, you could smell that berry creme brulee and the zucchini bread. I love zucchini bread, her, or at least her zucchini bread. Mmm, so, so good. Okay. Almost done with the loaves. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Okay, Fashion Week Embeds Cookie Monster Overpour. This one's pretty simple. This is Strawberry Crunch. Is it just Strawberry Crunch? I can't remember. I thought I wrote that down right, but maybe not. With Cookie Monster. She had a mess of these springtime loaves, I think is what she called them. Okay, this one smells a little bit, 
I smell more of that sugar milk from the Cookie Monster. Like it doesn't smell, or maybe it's the Crunch Berries. Maybe the Crunch Berries have a little bit of sugar milk in them, I don't know, because you know that's a cereal or whatever, so. That one still smells nice. I, you know, I've actually kind of been getting into sugar milk, but not like a lot, like I wouldn't go crazy over it, but. Okay, the next one I got is Young Hearts Run Free Embeds and Eleanor Rigby Overpour. So that's what that guy looks like. How pretty. So this is Wildberry Mousse, Coconut Cream Pie, Lemon Cake with layers of buttercream and cotton candy frosting. So I really wanted to try the, the Eleanor Rigby. I think it was the last restock that she had Eleanor Rigby as like a regular or a new scent. And I wanted to try it, but I was like, you know, it's a lot of lemon. And it and it is a lot of lemon. So super pretty on that. And I've, I've been wanting to get back into wild berry mousse just a little bit. And you do get that. It's a really nice combination, actually. I actually, <laughs> I just said in another video that I was not getting more storage for any of this. And I need new storage because I am completely out of room. My VCS has taken over. Jackie O Supreme, I got in these Blossom bars. I think these are what these are called. Jackie O Supreme. So this is rich vanilla marshmallow birthday cake, vanilla bean noel. Now when I first smelled this, I didn't really think much of it. But now that it's kind of like cooled off from being outside and whatnot, it's like a really rich Jackie O it's like a amped up Jackie O. I think it's better. I like it a lot better. It's really rich vanilla in there. So that is that. I like her blossom bars. I think they are pretty. I like the way they stack easily too. Okay, I don't have any more room on my <laughs> on my thing. Okay, so I got a deluxe blossom bag or no bombshell blossom bag. Purple Haze Bluebird Cafe Cookie Monster. This is Marshmallow Jelly Filled Zucchini Donut, Fresh Picked Strawberry. And then Cookie Monster is all that stuff. Sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, butter cream frosting, and sugar milk. This one to me, when I first got it, I was disappointed. I'll just be completely honest because, let me see if I can, my camera is so, like, sorry, I have to like completely back it up differently than I usually do, but that's what it looks like on the inside. So, when I first got this, I really wanted that purple haze to just really pop out. I feel like the scents are kind of muddled in there. Like, I can't really, like, I don't pick out purple haze. I know purple haze really well. I don't pick out Bluebird Cafe. It's sort of combined into one singular scent. And I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Usually one scent note comes out more than the other. I'm just gonna say like that maybe it's just because it needs to cure a little bit that the scents all haven't like properly developed. So I'm gonna put these to the side. This is a hot mess, you guys. Like I don't have anywhere to put this stuff. The next one I got is Five Families, Jackie O, and Waffle Cone. I have been obsessed with Waffle Cones. So you really can't go wrong with this. This is sugar cookies, whipped cream, birthday cake, vanilla wafers, cannoli, marshmallow, vanilla bean noel, waffle cone. This I smell a lot of Jackie O. There's a lot of Jackie O in this one. So I can show you guys in there. Yeah, that one is super sweet, but I think it'll smell really good. I like the Five Families blends. Okay. The next thing I got is Grease is the Word. Funny thing is, I this is probably the only thing I got out of the entire collection that she did. This is the Chantilly Shatter. It's always really pretty. This is Cake Donuts topped with vanilla icing and sprinkles. Somebody said... Was it candy? Was it you that said that this was supposed to be like sort of like a peeps cake scent? Or you thought maybe it was like a peeps cake? All I know is it's really sweet. 
it just smells like a really sweet vanilla to me. I love her Chantilly Shatter. It's so pretty. Yeah, it just smells really sweet. I don't smell any, like, bready notes. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is a hot mess. <laughs> All right. This next one I got is Young Hearts Run Free in a four-pack. This is Wild Berry Mousse Coconut Cream Pie. Coconut Cream Pie just always sounds good to me. I don't know. Oh, that is good. I haven't had wild, you know, I haven't had wild berry mousse in a long time. Oh, and I'm, I'm falling in love with it again. It's so weird how, like I say this all the time, like your nose just changes to certain scents. And then milk glass is a scent I've been wanting to try for a while. I think my friend Christy was talking about this one. And I was like, you know what? I need to try milk glass again. Wild berry cake batter and sugar milk. That just sounded nice to me. And I like this. You know, I don't know how I like it on warm, but I like smelling it in the bag. <laughs> it's heavy on the sugar milk. And that wild berry mousse is just kind of faintly there. So, it's nice. okay, so then I got the four pack of hearts in the lemon sampler. I'll, I'll just go through these really quick. You are my lucky star. I think this one might be new. I don't know, lemon curd buttercream. A couple of these are returning. It smells very similar to Princess of Monaco, to my nose, anyways. We have Beehive, which is lemon, coconut cream, butter cake, zucchini bread. I did a warm review on this one already, so I won't talk about that one too much. And then Lemon Poppy Seed Jackie O, which Lemon Poppy Seed has been a new favorite for me, so... Yeah, that's nice blended with the Jackie O. And then my favorite, one of the reasons why I wanted this, which is so silly, but Saturday evening pedophores. This was one of my favorite, like, first scents from VCS. This is zucchini bread, vanilla bean noel, and lemon blackberry jam butter cookie. This is like one of the very first scents I think I ever warmed from VCS. I don't know why, but I love the scent of that. Okay, so then I got, I'm just gonna show one, but I grabbed two of the coffee samplers. I haven't tried this one in a while, Cafe Reggio, which she does these really beautiful, I think, are these Dahlias? Cafe Mocha Marshmallow is Cafe Reggio. That just smells good. I haven't warmed that in a long time. I remember the first time I warmed it, I didn't like it, so. Hoping this time. So I have Aunt Kathy's Ultimate Coffee, which is cinnamon, dolce, hazelnut cream, espresso. Whoops, I'm kidding you guys. This one's interesting. It's definitely hazelnut. The, I really wanted to grab this one too because of the Jackie O's Cup of Joe. That one's pretty heavy on the Jackie O. And then the last one I have is Breakfast at Tiffany's. My battery's about to die, so I have to finish this up. This is Almond Cream Cheese Croissant, Hot Coffee, and a Little Blue Box. I don't know why I felt the need to write Little Blue Box down. That's pretty heavy on the almond. Okay, so really quick, I'll just go through the samples. And I also got one of these things. I don't know what this is. I need to open it and see. Does anybody know? I think somebody posted one on the board. So I got John and Yoko. What I'll do is an Instagram video on my samples. The Mind Reader, which I already own. Strawberry Fields Forever, which I wanted to grab in this restock, but I didn't, but I love that scent and Eleanor Rigby, which I'm super stoked to have just a singular scent. Okay, so that is it. That is crazy town. <laughs> but yeah, I had, obviously I went crazy on this restock, but I'm super excited with everything that I got. I definitely need more storage, which I said in my last video, I was not gonna do, I was not gonna buy more bins, but 
I have nowhere to put this. It's ridiculous. So yeah, don't judge me too harshly on this. I know I said I was like cutting back or whatever, but on this one, I just, I couldn't. I was just like, there's just too much that I want to try. And this stuff cures for a while. So I feel like I'll be coming back to this in like six months or so, or maybe even sooner. I don't know. But anyways, okay, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you ordered from VCS, let me know what you got. And I will talk to you later. Okay, bye guys.